Hello, in this video I'm going to take you back to Bolivia and have a very eventful day. If you haven't seen the previous Bolivia videos, they are linked above. This was my final day in what had already been an eventful few days. We were leaving New Uni and heading south to the border with Argentina. With heavy rains causing chaos, we were forced to ride washed out roads and riverbeds, riding through sand, gravel and everything but tarmac. We left our hotel early in the morning on fresh tyres, having taken the rare opportunity of a day off to change them. Our route was around 280 miles and only 100 miles on the Argentinian side was tarmac. It took us several attempts to find the route of 21 road, south to Atocha and to Pisa, and once we were on it, quickly realised the extent of the road. With 12 of us on this trip, we would usually split up and make our own way in small groups at our preferred pace, but for this day we all stuck together. It's hard to believe people live in these surroundings, let alone what they do to survive. But it's an undoubtedly stunning, if barren, environment. It was going to be a particularly challenging day for my mate Gary. His Triumph Explorer is not the best balanced of its generation of adventure bikes. And as we picked our way through the sand, he had a minor fall on the crest of a hill. Is your foot stuck? Beyond the toucher, the track became a bit more recognisable as a road, an easier going gravel piece surface, climbing up into and over the ochre coloured Andes mountains in awe of the landscape. After an hour or so of easier riding, we were taking a five minute breather when I noticed Gaz's second issue of the day. Uh, where's your bag Gaz? I asked. He normally has a large dry bag with all his clothing strapped to the passenger seat of his bike which seemed notably absent. He jumped off his bike and with a raft of unrecognisable Durham slang and expletives, realised he'd lost his bag. We'd travelled so long between stops that to go back would lose us up to two hours and we were tight for time as it was to cross the border post. As none of us had seen it fall off, we had no idea how far back it could be and even if we did retrace our steps, it may well have been picked up by a passing car. pressed on south towards the Argentinian border with relative ease. The border was on the edge of a small town and defined by a river bridge. After stamping our passports out of Bolivia, we began the ever tedious process of queuing and waiting to get our passports stamped and motorbike through customs. Typically, we arrived just after a coachload of tourists, so it took about an hour and a half. On the Argentinian side, the road opened up and we made much better time to cover the final 100 miles and relaxed in a local tavern with our first real taste of Argentinian steak and red wine. 